Okay, well, this isn't too bad. It could be a lot worse. Could be very, very, very much worse. When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. <laughs> Two. Please don't. No! <laughs> Good day everyone and welcome, my name is Ordinary Oli and today we are going to be continuing with the last door. And this is going to be the beginning of episode, hold on, hold on, two, episode two. Last one ended with us finding our friend hanging from the roof as we knew he was going to be hanging from. And, uh, or the ceiling, he was practically hanging from the ceiling, sorry, um, English is not my first language. And he told us to go to a college or something to seek out a brotherhood that we were once a part of. Maybe. I think that was what it was in episode 2. So that is where we're going to start. And hopefully it will be just as thrilling as episode 1 was. So, episode 1 was the letter. And I'm guessing that man indicating with a little light. We've already completed that one. Episode 2. Memories. Let's begin. And see what happens. Oh, the memories. Previously on the last door. It's a good thing we get one of those. You guys can just like be sure that you saw everything that there was to see and then forget anything. Jeremiah DeVitt received a mysterious letter from his childhood friend Anthony Beckworth. He travels to his friend's manor in Sussex, where he learns that Anthony is descended to madness and the death of his wife, Anna Beckworth. DeWitt faces the perils of the house and finally finds the dead body of his friend who committed suicide. Anthony's final letter warns DeWitt of an unknown danger and asks him to remember his past by going back to the boarding school they both attended years back. Do do do. And that was what happened in the previous episode. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. I have not heard that before, but it sounds very religious. That's gonna. Okay. You. What's this all about then, Father? Is that a real man hanging from the cross there? Because if it is. That's definitely not okay. Thy kingdom come, they'll be done in earth as it is in heaven. Got a lot of shit in here, don't you? Is that really someone hanging up on the cross there? No? Okay. Oh, oh okay, we can press that one. Give us each our daily bread. Did he just remove his robe? You can press this one. Father, what are you doing? Forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive our debtors. And now he's praying. You can press. <laughs> Lead us into temptation. He Did he just whip himself? Did he just whip himself in the back? He did, didn't he? If I press it again, is he gonna whip himself again? Deliver us from evil. I'm not, I'm not gonna press it again. I'm not gonna whip myself. I'm not into that shit. Okay. Amen. And here is the epic intro that we had the last time too. Although it's probably not that important for the entirety of the video. So uh, thank you everyone that is uh, being credited in this game for making this awesome game. But I am going to have to skip it though. So boom. Okay great here we go. Now tell me where are you and what do you see? And I hear a guy breathing in the background. Which is the first time there's actually been human voices in this game, and I do not like it, because it's fucking scary. I've actually thought it was me for a second when the first started. Oh no! <laughs> it's scary! Ah, oh, fuck, my body itches because it's so scary. Hello? Boarding school? Oh no! Who is it? Is it Anthony? Answer me. Hello? Who are you? Oh! <laughs> I didn't get scared. <clears throat> Let's just continue our travels here. Is it hot in here? I find it to be a little bit hot in here. I'm just gonna remove this thing because whew, somebody must have let the heat on or something. What is she doing? Get closer to her. Get close to Anna. <laughs> Don't what? 
I don't want to. Anna! <laughs> no. Okay, well, this isn't too bad. It could be a lot worse. Could be very, very, very much worse. When I count to three, you'll wake up. One. <laughs> Two. Please don't. No! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, oh Lord, please save us. Holy shit. <laughs> Three. Now wake up. Wake up. <gasps> okay, he woke up. <laughs> oh, he didn't even my <laughs> pull my earplug out. That was why the sound of the game came. You can rest now, Mr. DeWitt. I'm not fucking resting. I'm... <laughs> Shit. Well, we have a new... <laughs> have a new high score on the level of scared I've ever gotten <laughs> in my entire life. That'll be enough for today. Well, I fucking hope so. <laughs> oh. Shit. Now, we just had to go and play episode two, didn't we? We just had to do it. Couldn't just be satisfied with what happened in episode one, no. No, we just had to, right? Are these sessions really necessary? <laughs> I hope fucking not. I'm confident that this is the best cause of treatment for your symptoms. Now, did you ever see him again? I saw it. What did you see? Can you describe it? Was that the big eye thing? I struggled to find out it could work. It looked like an eye. It looked like a fucking hellish scary eye, it did. Oh my god. What? It looked like an eye, okay. Oh, uh, okay, I can make choices now of what to say. This is also the first time we're interacting with other live people, so that makes sense. It was like an eye, perfectly rounded and dark, deep and empty, accompanied by the most horrifying, pain-filled screams I've ever heard. Inside a complete darkness where an evil dwells deep below, a forgotten fear for human reasoning, but undoubtedly still rests deep down inside our being. In my case, that fear is already awoken. That's a very fucking accurate description of what that eye exactly was. I can understand why you're disturbed, Mr. DeWitt. With your permission, I'd like to consult in your case with a colleague of mine, a man I know for many years who is more versed in modern psychological practices. I think his knowledge and experience would be very helpful in enabling us to understand your condition. If you think it will help, Doctor, I leave it in your hands, the agony growth increasingly unbearable, and if you believe this man can help when I welcome his aid. Thank you, Doctor. Wakefield, I bid you good evening. Oh my god, I'm still fucking... Oh, oh my heart is still, like, just fucking <laughs> beating away. Oh, Anthony, my friend, what really happened to you? How could you have let your wife Anna die so awfully? These doubts consume my soul. I hardly remember the time we spent together as schoolmates. I confess that beyond your enduring friendship, I can recall little of those years. Where your words of res where your words a result of increasing loss of sanity. In your letter, you wrote that somebody awaits me, a warning to ward me from a genuine danger, or merely the ravings of a brilliant mind addled by insanity. Something stirs uneasily within my heart. I will not rest easily again until I go back to that boarding school and find out what secrets may lie within. Farewell, Mr. and Mrs. Beckworth. Rest now in peace. Amen. And now we are leaving for the boarding school, I'm guessing. And sitting by a fire. Sitting on a bed. Traveling by horse carriage. And arriving at what I'm guessing is the boarding school. Ooh. Such fine detail. <laughs> Episode 2. Memories. Ooh. What a fucking intro though. Oh Jesus, well that got me hyped. Let's just check out this place here. We got a mailbox. Which is damaged. And not working. Is there something in it though? 
There's a postcard inside the mailbox. Grab that shit. Dear Matthew, it's been several months, and I still have heard no news from you. My brothers insist that you have abandoned me, but I'm sure you remain true. I know that you would never do that to me, for I know your heart and the honesty of your eyes. I got this address from a hospital in London, and pray that it reaches you safely. If that is the case, I want you to know that I'll be always waiting for you, forever yours. Juliet Holloway. Well, I hope that she found that Matthew guy and they're happy together. Otherwise, that's quite sad. Fountain. The Angel Gabriel, the school's emblem. I remember it being very pristine, but it looks neglected and dirty now. Oh, it's dirty, all right. <laughs> Can we, uh... No, we can't clean it or anything. Nothing else to really press here. Oh, you can press the door, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's just go on and explore. See if there's anything that we can check out. Oh, there's something by that window there. Oh, okay. Now... Oh, there's someone digging something. A log wood coffin badly finished. It seems that's whoever made it. It's a bit rushed to finish. Maybe it's the guy digging. Hello? Good evening. I hope you're right, and this turns out to be indeed a good evening. My name is DeWitt. I do not know. I did not know there was a graveyard here. My pleasure, Mr. DeWitt. I am Frank Baldwin. Do not ask me why, but Monsignor, Monsignor, specific, speci <laughs> specifically ordered to bury the corpses here. Why? I do not understand. I should let you get back to your work. Why? Which corpses? The order to bury corpses here. Why? I do not understand. What is there to understand, Mr. DeWitt? God has forsaken this place. Ah, don't you know? Here we take care of patients. I am an old alumnus. I used to attend the school. It has been a long time since this is not a boarding school anymore. The building is now used as a nursing home run by nuns, a former student, eh? I never heard anybody in the village speak fondly of the school. They say it closed overnight, though nobody knows why. Not a lot was known about it. Excuse the interruption, Mr. Baldwin. I'll leave you with your work. Have a nice evening, alumnus DeWitt. Alumnus or alumnus? I hope it's alumnus, otherwise I'm pronouncing it wrong. A grave recently dug. Well, no need to tell me. This small group of graves has been hazardly, haphazardly arranged. I'm pretty sure that means fast. Or like, without very much care. That door is locked from the inside. How the hell can you tell that it's locked from the inside? Or maybe it's because there's only a keyhole on the other side then. Oh, a nun writing stuff by a little light. That's not creepy. Hello, Mrs. Nun. Or sister. Good evening, sister. Good evening. I am Mother Elizabeth. What brings you here, Mr. DeWitt? I am a former student of this boarding school. As you can see, Mr. DeWitt, this stopped being an academic institution a long time ago and is now exclusively dedicated to prayer and the well-being of the patients under our care. I see. Even so, may I please speak to... Mr. DeWitt, I'm afraid that we're too busy to start wasting time talking about past issues. In addition, there's little to say. We sisters arrived after the boarding school had closed down. Everybody but Monsignor, of course. Monsignor? Exactly. But you didn't answer my question. Why have you come to this place, Mr. DeWitt? I was just about to tell you if I could see someone. Perhaps that's why, Miss Nunn. It'd be good for me to appreciate the passage of time. This place will help me remember. I prefer not to talk about it. place will help me remember. If you have memorable problems, I would recommend you there visit a doctor immediately and don't waste your time here. It'd be good for me to appreciate the passage of time, then. Perceive the passage of time. What are you talking about? To be honest, I prefer not to talk about it. I couldn't tell you why this place is so important to me, but it is. A lot. <clears throat> well, I appreciate your honesty, Mr. DeWitt. I'll allow you to stay around here. I hope I won't regret my decision. Don't worry, Mother. Thank you. Why does he go out? Oh, okay, he puts his clothes back uh, on the rack. Oh, okay, I was wondering why he would just... Oh! <laughs> so fucking on edge. There was just somebody coughing in the background. Still, woo! Okay, well, I am going to end this episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this part, or uh, first part of episode two of The Last Door. We have arrived at the boarding school, or what is now a care center, or whatever, run by nuns. But we are going to explore this shit. What I am grateful for is that there are other people, but that could probably subtly change, and we'll find ourselves in an old abandoned 
monastery or whatever the fuck the goss whatever this is alone with a bunch of monsters or something scary at least and please do not have that eye pop up pop out again at some point because that's just not fair <laughs> oh i'm gonna have nightmares about that shit Whew. well okay guys still again hope you enjoyed and bye bye bye